Hi everyone, it's Holly and welcome back to my channel, Smile by Holly. Look at the adorable wreath that we are going to be making today and can I just tell you straight out, this is super simple. So let's just jump right in and get started. Today, get your paper out, we are going to be making a fun little 4th of July wreath. Um, I just got the wire wreath from Dollar Tree and then actually I just went through my stash and I was able to use so many of my papers that I already had. So to start out, what you'll want to do, and this is just eight and a half by 11 uh, size paper, and you'll want to cut your strips two inches wide. And then it kind of depends on how close you put these together or how uh, tightly you scrunch your papers in as to how many you'll need. I like to start out with 24 strips and then just kind of play it by ear as to how tight or how loose I want it on my wreath. So go ahead and get you some strips all cut and let me show you how we assemble this. I'm just gonna cut the tag off that. Now you can certainly do this with glue. I'm actually just going to be using a stapler. So you just take your paper and I actually like to fold it in half, give it a good crease, and then we're just going to fold it around the wreath. Okay, simple. Uh, make sure that those even bottoms are lined up. And then I'm just going to take my stapler and staple it right up against this bottom uh, ring. That kind of holds it tight onto the ring. And then from here, you want to give your ends kind of a fishtail look. So what I do is cut up just a little bit and then go from corner over to the middle and then from this corner over to the middle. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to put this on fast forward, assemble my wreath, and then we will decorate it. Okay, so, oh my gosh, that is so cute and so easy. Now with this particular wreath, I only used 17 of my strips of paper. So you could definitely overlap them a little bit, um, but I actually think it looks pretty good and pretty full. So it just kind of depends, and that's why I had cut a little bit of extra paper. So you can just determine for yourself how much paper you want. So I've got my hot glue gun going and let's go ahead and make a cute uh, red bow for our wreath. This is a bow that I got off of the Silhouette Studio and I will leave the link below to this particular file. It's cute because it's a, a double bow. So how are you guys doing today? Are you having a fantastic day? You know, I really like making fourth, of, well, I like making all crafts, but I really like red and blue. So <laughs> making fourth of July crafts is extra fun. Have you guys started any fun projects? I would love to hear about what projects you're making. You know, put some in the comment below or even some pictures. I would love to see what everybody is up to for the 4th of July. Okay, so this little one just goes on top. Maybe we'll flip it on the back here. Yeah, that works out better. 
I love, love, love making paper bows. Well, if you've watched any of my videos, I love bows, period. <laughs> but <laughs> they turn out so cute with the paper. Okay, so there's our cute little bow. And before we glue it on, oh yeah, that's gonna look really cute. It's hard to kind of know what size you want. You don't want it too overpowering. I hope I got that big enough, but I think I did. Um, I had cut out this cute uh, July sign. I, I have a membership to Creative Fabrica, and I'll also leave the link down below for that. It's a subscription program where they have tons and tons and tons of clip art or SVGs or, you know, so many different fonts that um, you can go in once you've subscribed, you can go in and print anything or as much as you want at any time. So for me, doing as many crafts as I do, I, <laughs> I think it's a great, great deal. So maybe go in and check them out. But I made this, printed out this cute July sign and I thought I would just add it onto some twine and then we would put that uh, through the middle of our wreath. Let's cut some of this and we'll glue our July on. So do you guys have fun plans for the 4th? We usually uh, go up camping, but all the campgrounds are completely full. It's just been so busy uh, at, with COVID. Everybody went out and bought RVs and it's just really hard to get a spot now. So I think we are just going to stay home and maybe do a barbecue with the family, which is fine too. I do love camping, but it probably, be a little bit easier not having the crowds. Look how cute that is. So let's, I'm just gonna add this in the middle of our wreath. Oh, so there is our darling little wreath. Oh my gosh, that was so simple and so fun. I think I will add a few of these 3D stars. I just picked these up from Dollar Tree. I think that will add onto our cute little wreath. I find so many fun things at Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, when I see things, I'm like, oh, what can I do with that? <laughs> do you guys ever feel like that? Let's see, how many stars do I want? I think the stars actually add, so I'm gonna go for it. You know, it's kind of a balancing act between having it be too gaudy. <laughs> And then I think our little bow needs a little bit of bling. And then we will be done. Did you see how fast that came together? And maybe we'll add a little bit of bling onto our letters here.
Okay, so there is our finished wreath. Didn't it turn out so cute and just so simple? Now you can also make this with 12 by 12 papers. Your little uh, tags would just be a little bit more extended. But I thought this was just the perfect size. It's going to look so cute. So hey, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch this video. You know, if you got some value out of the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. So thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.